Pi Network. Is your data safe? Important to know. The Pi Network is one of the newest cryptocurrencies that is attempting to become the next Bitcoin, and since it was not yet on an exchange or trading platform, it had a very different way of mining the coins. So stay tuned for this video where you'll find out if there's some truth to the allegations that the Pi Network is just a scam to make money for the founders by showing you how to use the app, or if there is a scam that is just trying to sell your information. Welcome to Crypto Live. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos about cryptocurrencies. With the Pi Network, you have nothing to lose except a few seconds of your time. It has also been alleged that Pi Network is a scam that makes founders rich by showing you how to be rich by equitizing through your phone. So is Pi Network a scam that just wants to get your personal information? Based on the information that we found from Quora and other providers, here are some of the data we collected. The Pi Mining Project is a legit, fast-developing cryptocurrency mining effort in which I am a nascent miner. And not just in one state, but worldwide. It has gained quite a bit of popularity, having a noble objective. The core team has no such notion about selling personal data, according to my understanding. Unlike many other scams, they do not use propaganda literature to lure people to achieve their own ulterior motives. Even the Pi interface is not visually appealing or colorful. However, it is rather centered on facilitating its users by introducing phenomenal features, such as chat rooms with numerous moderators to resolve issues, by answering queries of its users. Nowhere in the app does the core team try to convince the users to recruit new users. And never does the team promise that their project will succeed. Thus, in my view, this gesture demonstrates the authenticity of the project. In addition, the ever-increasing membership provides ample evidence for this. The fact that they update the system so often to ensure it is always fully fixed on a particular supply also makes it almost like Bitcoin, and they do their utmost to stick to the Bitcoin model. Currently, they have not released any information about the maximum supply of Pi, but it will be announced in the last month of December 2021. In addition, they do not give out any information about users or pioneers, but they try to make it at least fully accessible to anyone and strictly decentralized. Furthermore, what's the catch with Pi Network Mining? Should we really be concerned about data or phone security? According to the Pi Network white paper, a consensus algorithm had to be implemented that was highly user-friendly and could ideally be implemented on personal computers as well as mobile phones. The Pi Network aims to strike a balance between creating a sense of scarcity and still ensuring that a large amount does not accumulate in a very small number of hands. To encourage users to contribute more to the network, they want to ensure that they earn more Pi and early adopters will earn more coins per hour than those who join later, similar to Bitcoin's base mining rate. On your app, PiCoin calls you pioneers, who will earn at about 0.8 Pi an hour. But by the time it reaches 1 million, the rate is halved. Also, when the Pi network has between 10 million and 100 million users, new members will no longer be accepted. This app does not incorporate a security breach or other vulnerabilities, so it should be considered legitimate to download until date. Many users have not experienced any security breaches because Pi cryptocurrency is backed and secured by everyday people, and we know that this was developed by a team of Stanford PhDs and graduates. Compared to that, Pi's breakthrough technology lets everyday people contribute to the security of the currency by harnessing the power of social networks. By vouching for one another as trustworthy, Pi members form an interlocking network called a security circle that determines who can validate transactions on Pi's ledger. The catch with Pi network mining right now is that you can do it from your phone. A second catch is that while mining Pi, it does not currently use proof of work, meaning you won't be using electricity or other resources to mine Pi. Furthermore, you won't have to worry about draining your phone's battery, as the mining will stay on in the background even if you close the app. In fact, 
One school of thought holds that you're not mining coins at the moment, but you're only collecting the coins the system has already produced. In any case, if it holds any value in the future, we are benefiting from it right now if we mine it. In addition to this, when it comes to phone data, I don't think so because when you use the app for the first time, you have the option of choosing what permissions Pi app can access, and if your phone permits, you may change them in the future. Further, there are no ads running on the app since there are currently no ads running within the app, and the interface of the app is seamless. And you can disable ads in the Pi app settings, but I suggest continuing to enable ads for the network to at least cover some of their server costs. The truth is that no matter how pure your intentions may be, some stones will inevitably be thrown at you. Yet despite some complaints and allegations against the Pi network, those provide some evidence that many are still optimistic about its potential. Is Pi network's currency likely to be valuable in the future despite these allegations? It is highly likely that this will be the case. There is evidence that Pi network is at least attempting to build something of value based on an evidence-based analysis we found. They have published a high-level white paper outlining their ambitions without providing technical details on how their Pi stack would work. One of their goals is to attract other developers to build apps for the Pi network so they can benefit from users' attention. Using this model was reminiscent of the pay-to-surf models of the dot-com boom, where companies installed software on users' devices and acted as middlemen for advertisers without generating substantial financial benefit for either. Apparently, there is a claim that a pilot project was run in 2020 where people were able to exchange goods and services through the use of Pi. It may have been better for them to list their coin on an exchange, as has been done by companies such as Electronium, rather than run pilots. The Pi users claim that the Pi team's decision to fork the open-source Stellar blockchain to build their implementation of the project required significant effort due to a variety of problems, and that this was the cause of the delay. The mainnet will not be known until it is launched and the criteria for launching it remains vague in the white paper. And when the community believes it is time for the mainnet to be launched and enough testing has been done, the mainnet will be launched. As of 2021, they have more than 70 employees based on their LinkedIn page. Nevertheless, many people who list themselves as working there are app users with titles like cryptocurrency trader. There seems to be a group of people actively working on something in each profile, although this has yet to be verified. Regardless of whether it is the next version of the app or the blockchain network, it is hard to verify from the outside the company. The user has launched a test version of the blockchain, and some of the code is listed on GitHub, so we can assume they have shared some of that code. Its founders were Stanford graduates and worked there, and we all know that. Although this is undoubtedly a good thing, people rarely take note that Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, the authors of this article, and many other business founders attended reputable universities, i.e. Ivy League universities. Since these facts are rarely used by their companies, this is the case. In our experience, business success is far more critical and predictive of entrepreneurial success than academic credentials. Companies with high business success tend to focus more on their company's success than on the academic accomplishments of their founders. Considering that the Pi Network has indeed experienced significant growth, and considering that there will be more than 18 million users this month in June, it is worthwhile to invest some time, as the Pi Network is not yet requiring money to mine. That's all for this video about crypto, and thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates on the crypto market, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.